elections just took place and uh, there is tension there is tension Ali Bongo won with the state of affair yes. he has been sick he had an uh, 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 a heart attack yes and there are certain illnesses it's difficult for you to get back to the way you were Actually. and somebody was saying when a sick leader is ruling a country the country is sick because your leader would not be up to tax but during this election he tried to prove that he's up to tax and if the electoral commission claim he won do you think he actually won well um I was not in Gabon when the elections happened, mm -hmm. and we learned from the sources which we have that he won the elections. I don't know if it is genuine or not, but I believe that Africa hasn't reached that peak of democracy. Most elections in Africa have been, have you been know, rigged. they have been, you know, manoeuvred. We can see the case of Nigeria. I, I really, it's, <laughs> it's to me, seeing um, Ahmed um, being the president, Nebu being the president, to me, it's like an insult because we saw what happened. People come with guns and, you know, they should carry ballot boxes and they run away, and the elections were validated. In Cameroon, still, the same thing. Elections are not transparent. So it's just something like it's a national thing. It's a continental thing. Mm -hmm. So we can just say that the elections in, in Gabon was not genuine because when we look at statistics and all what people write about the elections in in gabon since from his father till now elections have never been transparent so why will this one be transparent when we all know most african leaders especially those that are, are they, they conserve power they are the uh, um, people that like to conserve power they always do everything possible to stay on power mm -hmm. so i think the elections were not genuine and now if the the the, the transitional president this breeze olingi he says that the elections were not transparent mm -hmm. he says the institutions are not fair and mm -hmm. autonomous now what he, he it's very simple you are not hungry for power you want to work for the people you want your people to be emancipated give power to the opposition leader that the rally together which is ondo o o osa give him the power and you know we can rearrange the institution and all that and just do the thing why will he want to be the transitional president why that's the question meaning he has an eye on the power he has an eye on that seat. He wants to go to become the president of Congo, of Gabon. Of Gabon. Of uh, Gabon. Let's, let's also take note that the uh, position power did something that was remarkable. They called the transitional leader, the junta leaders, they yes. congratulated them, they thanked them for what they had done because left to them the elections were uh, fraudulent. fraudulent. And so they told them, they gave them a, it was not actually a condition that could they have a meeting with them and to sit with them to talk about either re-election should be organized this time around since Ali Bongo is not there either they will talk about the parties dissolving and going to each other or they form a coalition and choose go in for this one person and if everybody votes for the person then that's fine and they take it but the junta leaders said they were going to come back to them and for now they have dissolved all the institutions so they should give them time to put things in place and they are going to come back with them what do you think about this move and the response for me, I think I will still repeat, I, I, I repeat, that transitional president to me is not genuine. Because if he was genuine, like what time does he need? What time does he need? Because what happened when the elections were being, the results of the elections were being, you know, announced, immediately he organized a coup d'etat and he was like, you know, being praised. Yeah. It, today is already the, the fit. We are the fit of, um, you know, September. Mm -hmm. So since the 30th, when he organized the coup d'etat, and it was, you know, that's the second coup d'etat, mm. since oh, um, oh, the, the son, yes, Ali, Bongo. Ali Bongo became president. Yeah. You know, he, he released even the guy. Mm -hmm. He released him. Mm -hmm. Released a lot of prisoners, dissolved, closed the borders and all that. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough time for him to reorganize the, the, the elections, if that was the proposition of the opposition, opposition yes, they leaders. Did. Mm -hmm. Or he would have, you know, looked at you know the all list, of all them decide that, that if it's this person they're yeah. going for election and then we'll see if everybody will vote that person and that's then they it. the person very I think simple that was a nice suggestion for me it's a nice suggestion and i think that's the best you understand because a lot of people will not understand that this is a this is we are in politics you know the masses don't understand the 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 behind the scene of things they are just happy we, just, we love you we like you've liberated us and mm -hmm. all that they don't see the future they don't see that they haven't weighed it on a balance to see the negative and the positive aspect of this man being the transitional president mm -hmm. and being the 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 say the restoration of the institutions and we all saw how the opposition gathered and they told him sir can we do this do this he said we will come back to you mm -hmm. give us time what's the time for probably was preparing time for, for the, him to for the you swearing know, in he wanted to be sworn in that's after. it meaning they'll and he will he will give them like two years 
okay time for him to you know trying to sit and understand the institutions and trying to master every room in the house so i think it's 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 a political mascara for me i think it's a political mascara and i tell the people of gabon you guys should be very careful not everything all that glitters is gold this man, you're happy he has liberated Gabon. He has removed us from the state of monarchy. We want to change. He's still a monarchy. This guy is from the fa presidential family. He's the cousin of this man. So there is no change. There is no change. And if we saw that France hasn't said anything, give back part to the, to the civilians, they haven't caused chaos, and they haven't said, okay, we are going to suspend you. They haven't called institutions and NGOs to, you know, give them some kind of sanction. It means there is something smelling very the the odor is not good there is something behind yeah so france that, is behind that's him. what is different from yes this Gabon, from the others from the others yes, yes because it's the very kind different. of pressure like we have in the others in niger it yeah. was like they had a personal problem with the, the people of niger mm -hmm. when the coup of niger you saw the ECOWAS, they stood everybody. up everybody spoke they were like angry but in the case of gabon france is just like so comfortable you know the institutions are so comfortable and most of these institutions are the institutions of the French that they came and planted in Africa to keep protecting their interests in Africa, not for the Africans. And at the end of the day, they say, no, we do this for you. We give you grants, we give you money, we give food aid, like in the case of Niger. So let us be very careful. We need to be very careful. The people of Gabon should not take a decision that they will regret tomorrow. This man is still one of the workers of the devil of